What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. It feels really weird holding the camera because I have not filmed a video and I swear it seems like months. But if you guys are new to the channel, I appreciate it. If you guys are the OGs here, appreciate you just stopping back by. If you guys could click like, click subscribe if you haven't so far. Today we've got a banger of a video as you guys saw in the thumbnail and the title. We have got an update video for you because I haven't filmed one in a really long time. That's our new Silky Rooster. He's a super cool dude. Um, but chickens are doing good. The orchard's doing good. We've had a little bit of uh, mishaps with coyotes again. But not much you can do except for make sure they're all locked up at night. But guys, the albino. So yeah, guys, over here, the albino sulcatas are doing great. This is Champ. He's a head albino male. He's the alpha. A little bit of a turkey. We're going to stay away from him. But the tortoises are all doing absolutely amazing in their mud hole. Champ's the alpha. Um, he's kind of annoying. Got these holes here in the ground, guys. Got some more over there. Tortoises, they try and burrow to stay cool. I don't blame them. Sulcatas are known to burrow. I don't let mine burrow for fear of burrows collapsing because I've got really soft soil here. So we just collapse them ourselves and fill them full of water. Gives the tortoises another source of water. But I just wanted to show you guys Jules real quick. She's my pride and joy albino sulcata. Look at those beautiful clear pink eyes. She is gorgeous and I love her. Um, this is gonna be kind of a blitz of an update video because guys, it's hot here and it's probably 9.30 in the morning and it's already like a billion degrees. Um, but tortoises are doing great. We've got all the albino sulcatas here, um, covered in mud, trying to stay cool. The plan was to install an AC unit here on this wall this year. I never got around to it, so we're almost out of the worst of the worst months. But who knows, maybe I'll finally get uh, the courage and decide to, uh, you know, I actually installed that AC unit, so it hopefully prevents them from digging a little bit. Um, this is the juvenile enclosure. Um, it's about 16 by 20 feet wide, divided in half into two groups. This was actually originally my garden, so you can tell there's like carrots that have gone to seed, some, I don't bok choy, whatever this stuff is, but the tortoises are doing great. Um, this is a massive burrow right here, probably goes four or five feet down this way. I've just been letting the juveniles burrow because I feel like I can keep tabs on them for the most part. Um, we've got a couple rescues that go in there. And then, I don't know if I've ever talked about it on the channel. These guys here, there should be, that one's a rescue, but there should be three that are this size, probably eight inches or so. They are actually double, double het for albino and ivory. So hopefully I've got at least a male and a female and they grow up and breed. We should produce a new morph that hasn't been produced yet. So that's pretty exciting. As long as the guy I bought them from wasn't uh, making it up or something, right? Um, but I'll talk more about those genetics and kind of give you guys a breakdown on what it is there. There's also an ivory juvenile in here somewhere. And then here we have the albino sulcatas from this past season that I've kept back and are raising up as well as some hets. Here is my beautiful pride and joy. She's eating a snack right now, but this is Rosie, named after Rose. And her mother, Scarlet, was the one who actually that just passed away about a month or two ago. All right, guys, as my biggest fear suspected, my phone overheated, and so I put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes, and we'll see if it works. But I got some stuff done. I, uh, I guess I can do, like, memberships and super chats and all that bull crap on YouTube. But anywho, um, also, merch link will be in the bottom of this video most likely as well. But anyhow, I was telling you guys about the yearling albino sulcatas. I had Rosie in my hand. Kind of going over uh, who Rosie is, what she means. But these are a couple more of the yearlings. Um, that one is actually going to Blake at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. You guys will see a video on that here in the next month or two. Um, we'll be headed out there and doing a tour over there. But um, yeah, I want to show you a couple of these babies from this year. Let me see if I can sneak over here. Sorry for the shadows. These are a bunch of normal babies that are possibly het for albino. But look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful albino baby. This is this year's hatchling. Absolutely gorgeous. Smooth as can be. And just a beautiful, beautiful tortoise. Living outside in the Arizona sun. Doing amazing. Whoever gets this tortoise is honestly going to be super lucky because it's a nice tortoise. Got a couple others under there. There's the no-eyed tortoise. Let's see if we can zoom in on her. Oh, come on. Oh, it's getting humid down here. Anywho, there she is over there. I'll grab her another time. We'll do a full-blown update video on her. I'm gonna wipe my lens off. But 
tortoises are doing great everyone's good got a project coming up the next video you guys are going to see is going to be me building similar to the box turtles which is the video you guys just saw i've already got the wood we're going to be building outdoor enclosure for all of our hatchling sulcatas as you guys can tell backyard's changed a little bit got jimmy the horse over here we got the Connex shipping container over there moved back finally got my junkyard of a backyard cleaned up i don't know if any of you guys remember there used to be a big fire pile there and just a mess and there's still junk everywhere because that's how i be but um trying to get my life organized get things good trying to get the infrastructure set up for uh the coming years of of breeding tortoises and getting more tortoises and uh anywho box turtles are doing good um got a little pond right here they soak in almost every morning i see box turtles in there um but yeah guys animals are doing great here this is gonna be just a quick little update video for you guys just blitzing through um everything we've got going on i'll show you again my reptile shed here the state 48 turtle and tortoise mobile is uh doing great let me uh jump in here because it is uh, a little bit of a mess but i'm gonna show you guys a couple of the babies we've got um i've been keeping them all indoors they're really messy right now but look at that there's a really gorgeous well-started baby i don't know what it is the albinos i always have this problem where like they start out like a tad bit pyramided but then they level out and look great shortly after this is a chicken that he loves coming in here every time i open it up coyote got all his brothers um over the past week so he comes over here and wants to come snack on some of the food that i've dropped in here um we got just we got 100 percent hets that are getting massive just overall tortoises are doing really really good let me show you guys uh something cool here in the incubator because i know people love seeing that oh heck yeah an albino hatched out of this clutch this was an old clutch but there's a little baby albino that just hatched out so i'll have to give that a soak but we got another clutch right here that is just popping off oh look at that yes this one will be staying with me look at the shell on that that is just like jewels i will be keeping that one because unfortunately i lost the other one um that looked like her whoa you guys are seeing this first holy cow I've never had this happen before. I don't know if this guy's gonna make it, but whoa. I'm not gonna show you much more of this tortoise, but whoa, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Never seen that happen before, ever. And I'm just seeing that for the first time with you guys. Um, we got another clutch down here hatching. Uh, I don't remember whose babies these are, but we just had a really great year, honestly. So, anywho, tortoises are all doing really, really good. We've got a lot of babies available if you're interested in any Normal sulcata, head albino sulcata, or albino sulcatas. Got a lot of babies available and ready to go. Um, and yeah, I'm due to mow the lawn here real quick. Just haven't gotten around to it because life is uh, very, very busy. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you watching this quick little update video. Cameras are chirping ass. People ask me if I ever get annoyed, and I don't. I'm paranoid. I've got literally probably 20 cameras everywhere. Inside the houses, outside the houses, everywhere. But anyway, guys... I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you watching the video as I just plugged a minute ago. The merch link should be down below, as well as if you're interested in being a member. Um, still figuring out what the perks of those are going to be, being a member. But um, we got big things coming. Some other stuff we haven't talked about coming as well. And you guys want to stick by for this because I've got a very, very cool animal coming from across the pond uh, hopefully within the next month. So that's going to be absolutely awesome. So make sure you guys Hi. click that subscribe button. Know you're being recorded and stick around. I'm Hayden with State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. If you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. But that's going to be a wrap for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.